All right, so today's adventure, we've got the new Black Pack Pro in from uh, Yak Attack. These things are brand new as far as uh, the 16 by 16. <clears throat> I ordered it from Fish USA. The uh, Yak Attack shipped them straight to Fish USA, and of course I got them on my doorstep today. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this out, first look at it. The box has been beat to hell, man. It's, it's definitely gone through its paces. For something that's brand spanking new. Good old packaging. But, uh, we're going to open this bad boy up. Check it out. what we're looking like inside the box. We have the tax sticker. And of course the manual, the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up and see what we got. Get the different pieces out. I will say, for packaging, it kind of kind of sucks because they're already chewed up from being shooken around. Granted, it's going on the kayak; it's going to be outside, but still, you could. I don't know. I guess I'm one of them people that when you get brand new things, you want it to look brand new when you first get it. And then the panels, I do like the, the orange logo. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, there's mounting options all over these panels. So I'm assuming in the future they're going to come out with a lot of accessories. That's the main reason I bought it. Just to see... The different accessories and options that this thing will be capable of. Again, another big plus in my book. Set this box down and get it out of the way. This is the 16 by 16 option, the biggest one they make. Step A, tie overhand knots in your tethers. Each rod holder comes with a, with a, uh, a bungee tether. Um, it's kit C, it's marked out. Kit E. D, B, and A, look at all your screws. Tying over a hand knot near the end of each bungee. These are your bungees. And we're going to do that. Sit. Okay. Step A. Step B. Insert the untied bungee end into the rod hook. So you got your rod hook. Bungee end. Pull it all the way to the knot. So it looks like it goes this way. And then the knot goes inside there. Right? Yeah. Then the knot goes inside the little clamp. And I can trim that end off later on, I'm thinking. Yeah, one. So it's telling me to tie the knot and then stick it through the hole. But if I put the knot in there, it might not fit through that hole. So for me, 
what I would do is take your bungee and run it around and then tie your knot and then the knot goes up here. So I'm going to do that here. And then you run your knot and it goes through this clip right there into that hole there. Just gotta get this on film. Into hope you can see that. So now what you're looking at is when you have a tether. Just run in the back side. And you're gonna do all six. You're gonna do all six of your tubes that way. Okay. Six tubes. Six tubes. Now to assemble the crate. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. the bottom. So I'm assuming it's all of these screws and these go along the bottom only. So we're talking here. So This should be a hinge. Um, <coughs> and you mount them, line them up in the holes. You can see that. All right. So that's in. Okay. Then spin it around and catch the lid. hole possible is what should be there, right? Yeah. This is rod tubes, right? All right, so here it is. <clears throat> These are the hinges, your rod holders. These are your tie-down latches, and it comes with these to hook up with bungees. Unfortunately, it didn't bring the bungees. That kind of was really cool. But this is how it kind of tethers down in your tank well. 
<clears throat> and then these are the bungees for the rods. So, first impression, um, I mean, I like it. I like the space in between the, the rod holders, uh, the 16 inch. So I like that. Um, even with four screws in, I don't know, it just don't seem like it's, there's a little bit of wiggle to it. But again, this is just a store rod, so it's not going to be a lot of torque on them. This latch, I'm hoping, will survive. Lots of abuse, I don't know, we're going to find out. So this is what we're looking at. If I was to go 3600s, which I normally do, I could stand them up on the ends, whether they're a, an edge, a new Plano edge type. And I can get quite a few of them in here. I mean, if I wanted to put them, put them down on the bottom. I got room for days, man. Or if I wanted to go 3700s. Seven hundred fit in there. Put thirty seven hundred. Oh. I like the idea of these drill holes in here, the possibilities of putting dividers in here. Hopefully, the uh, team at Yak Attack is quick on uh, producing some accessories and add-ons for this thing. It's got potential. It's got lots of potential. What I don't like is the packaging. It got beat up and I've already got Mars and Marks on it. Of course it's going to get beat up in the kayak, but still this is brand spanking now. I uh, I should be the one to mark it up, not the freaking uh, packaging or the guy that packages them up. But this is it. Thanks for watching.